Oh yeah. Hawkin, a company I've never heard of before since Earthbound. <laughs> There's trust in. There's trust in. Earthbound, the war against Gygash. Oh uh, yes. I bet you none of you saw this coming. I bet nobody saw this coming. I didn't even see it coming. In fact, I had to be woken up this morning by the fact that it was coming. But yes, this is exactly what everybody thinks it is. This is the re-release of a giant bee. No wait, it's Earthbound. What sorcery is this? Yes, and this is the Wii U Virtual Console version. Oh, no, 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 we don't want that. We don't want spoilers. We're going to start a new game. And as you can see, there is no practice files, and I'm going to set stereo. Mm, mint, mm, strawberry, banana. peanut. Ew, I hate peanuts. Peanuts are gross and disgusting. I'm going to go with plain because I'm boring. Please name him. What are we going to name him? Don't care. We don't care. I don't care. I don't care at all what the he is named. I don't care. I called her he. Name my friend Jeff, which is actually the name of my brother, which is kind of, kind of awesome in a little way, but kind of also awkward in a big way. Because you know, if he ever watches these videos, which he doesn't, which I'm glad that he doesn't, because it's it's just really hard. Now this. This is important because this will be the name of a certain attack that we will get. So we're just going to go with don't care. And we're going to go with rocking because, you know, isn't the coolest thing rocking? You know, rocking chairs are cool. I don't know. That was a corny joke. This, this is a terrible start. This is the first part, man. The first part, man. I got to make this. I got to make this scene, like, you know, not stupid. The year is 1990X. And apparently Mega Man's in this game. Because you know how all in every single Mega Man game starts with 2000X or something. I don't know. I'm being stupid now. I, sh I should probably shut up. One at a small town in Eagle Land. But yeah. This, <laughs> this is so amazing. I, just, I can't believe it. I can't believe these days. I'm just. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ness's house. That would be a hard. That's like hard to pronounce. I don't know. It's ridiculous. And it starts with me sleeping. Look at those Z's. Beautiful Z's. And what is that? Sounds like an earthquake. Or worse, something hit the ground. We must investigate it. As every single video game protagonist. And now the lights are on, which is good. I'm gonna go in here, check on my sister. No, I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit that. Hey, bro, did you see? Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? No, not really. I'm not talking to that. I meant to hit that. I'm so, I'm so used to. Oh, oh my god! Because the way I usually play it, I always put like the L button where A is because the L button allows you to talk to things and open up things really easily so it's going to be confusing let's talk to mom what was that noise Ness you don't seem scared are you nuts and now you want to go check it out oh okay you'll sneak out of your room anyway even if I ask you not to at least change out of your jammies before you go no I like going I like going out in my pajamas I tend to do that a lot. I walk around places in my pajamas. I'm talking about in <laughs> That's my thing about Earthbound games. I always end up going back upstairs. I did that in Pokemon too. Besides humans, the dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Because I am a video game protagonist. We never sleep. Good never sleeps. And apparently, neither does anybody else. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I wanted to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Alright, uh, I'm going to give you a head start. Which, alright, go. Up to it. I don't care. Oh, I'm with the wrong way. Has it been that long? I mean, jeez. I should know where to go by now. And look, we got the police officer right there. And we got a cop car. It's like, 
don't remember seeing that much later on in the game. It's dangerous to go to the top of the hill. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Yeah, this game is completely amazing in every single way. It's why, why I, it just honors me to put videos up there. Hey, you don't don't you know what time it is? Well, the time is turn. It's currently like two o'clock in the evening. So apparently, you don't know the time. Let me talk to this guy. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. That's fine because I always eat garlic and work out and help my my body stronger. However, the weakest sentence says probably fainted. I just want to tell you. Whoops! I almost told you about my. Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check out my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job. You know, I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? You get paid for doing this, treasure hunter. This is liar x ag aggregate aggregates. Uh, I screwing up names already. It's going to be an amazing playthrough, especially since oh look, got a couple of police officers. Shh, shh. Clear out of the way. Get out of my way. Clear out of the way. Get out of my way. Clear out of the way. Get out of my way. Clear out of the way. Out of <laughs> clear out of my way. <laughs> Away out my get my. <laughs> Whoops, my mistake. I mean, I mean, get out of my way. Nice timing, this. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Uh, no, not that I know of. I mean, I could check my Facebook, but I doubt he's up there. You're not friends, but you aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Well, I wasn't friends with all my neighbors, because most of the time they're old. Shh, shh. No, I meant to talk to you. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I meant officers. Way. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Hmm. It seems to be the other way around. Yep. All right. Well, I guess we'll go home since Pokey knows what's best for us. <sighs> Jeez. I really wanted to see the mirror, right? What a jerk. But first, we're going to open up this present because I earned it. There's a bread roll. Yes. Bread rolls are very useful. They can be used for health and they can be used as sort of like exit for dungeons per se. And I went the wrong way again. This is going to be the wrong way, LP. If you could say it's a LP, I don't know. I, I don't know what to call my videos. Uh, I never really call my videos LP. I guess I take after Cloud Eight Seven Four Five. I don't know. This is kind of like a homage to all the old style LPs, because you know, I love those guys. And I love this game. And in fact, I first saw this game like back in 2010, because I was, you know. I didn't really know about Earthbound back when I was little because when I, this game came out, I was like only two years old. S scoot off to bed now. Yes, well, I guess we'll go back to sleep. It's it's best. But um, yeah, when I was little and this game came out, I was two, and my family wasn't into RPGs as was most of Americans, which kind of sucks because. Now I'm like a huge RPG fan because I love Fire Emblem and Paper Mario and all that good stuff. And now we got a knocking at the door. Who could be at the door? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Is there like a right way to knock? I mean, is there a better knock? My land. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? My land is right. Would you answer it? Oh, you know, I do everything else around the house. Are you following me, Mom? And we have Pokey at the door. What are you doing here? I mean, we're obviously not friends. Hey, <laughs> do what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, man. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite, sun uh, meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks. They're local ruffians. And they were really going wild suddenly. I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops, because you know, everybody blames cops. Why not? It certainly wasn't my fault at all. But my dad gets back. I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Uh no, I was kinda sleeping. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a, a knife. Well, I don't want to be cut. And you know, that's scary. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. 
before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, Mail? Alright. I know that the dog's unreliable, but you should take King along. The crack bat in Trace Room can help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you are a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember, to go for it. Yes, we shall go for it. But, I think that you should change out your jammies before you leave. Yeah. I don't know. Why not? But first, before we set out into our uncertain adventure, I think I'm going to equip that bet. Because you never know what might pop up. Yes, we want you to go with me, dog. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Because you are my dog. You're my home G skillet, dog. Okay, I'm stopping. All right, come on. Come on. I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's go. Pokey joins you for the first and last time. And who could be calling at this hour? Ness answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard a weird saying like this? No, not really. Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%, even though you're not behind me. Pokey is. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel I, sh I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Oop. That was good old dad. You know, he's never there. Uh, get, get off the mailbox. Alright, so now we are on to our adventure to go find Picky. And now we got our first battle against the spiteful crow. And he doesn't have a cigarette in his mouth, which makes me sad. I'm just hit auto fight. There's not much we could do. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to be attacking a whole one. Everybody that I see. Just because I like to grind for experience in games. Because, you know, us Fire Emblem players are deprived of grinding. And every kill counts. Oh, sorry about that. Every kill counts. <laughs> yeah, I can... You're going to see that a lot because I'm going to accidentally touch the screen of my gamepad quite a bit. And also, oh god, I don't want to die. Okay, there we go. I think I might have to use my bread roll. I think I might have to use it. I don't want to use it this early, but I couldn't kill that guy soon enough. So, uh, there's nothing over there. No enemies over there. Just patrolling the area. Making sure they're all dead. Because that's my job. And now, right there, we have a runaway dog, which is not very, like, threatening of an enemy, but still, you never know. You never know. And when I play this game, I tend to die a lot. I die almost all the time. <laughs> Pokey <laughs> apologized profusely. Poke yeah, Pokey's pretty useless in the party, so, you know, it's just kind of there for comic relief. He smiled insincerely. Yeah, what a swell guy. Go King. All right, Pokey, you can stop apologizing because we never, he never did, you never even did anything to him. I mean, we're beating up the dog, and now we're level two. Offense went up by one. Maximum HP went up by one. Maximum PP went up by one. Well, that was a terrible level up. <laughs> well, to say the least. Let me go ahead eat this cookie because it gives you six HP. And 6 plus 5 equals 11. And 11 plus 20 equals 31. Which is my maximum HP. I'm going to go ahead and auto-fight this guy too. So I can talk about some stuff. So yeah. I'm so excited about this. And there's a couple of things I want to announce. Formally announce. There I will be giving away a copy of this game. Yes. Or something along the lines. I might, If I can't figure out how to do the gift for Wii U. If they do have gift system for Wii U like they did for the Wii virtual console then I would just give away $20 of eShop points yes that would be amazing and hope you buy Earthbound which is only $9.99 which is a really good investment just saying just saying I'm gonna beat up this snake this is 
the coil snake. And this song. This song is just very awkward. Just very awkward. And then a biting attack. And smash! Yes! Smash attacks. They're very helpful. I was kind of hoping I would do a lot more of them, but I guess I got away from my guts. And as you can see up there, there's a lone kid standing by a tree. Let's go see who this. Oh, woof! If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. You useless dog. Jeez, you're more useless than my dogs. All right. Let's go talk to him. Mm -hmm. Wah! Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey, I got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Piggy joins you. And Piggy is more useful than Pokey. But right now, I think I'm going to end off this first part right here. So if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, like, subscribe to Comment Retrite. And if you like to follow me on my channel and my Twitter, you can do those things. And when you come back next time, we'll be going to bring Piggy home. And I'll be explaining more about the Earthbound giveaway, even though I didn't really explain much about it. See you guys then.